Hello everyone and welcome to your first Delphi training with How To Learning Center. I'll be going through a complete series of Delphi. So if you're really struggling with Delphi, this is the place to be. I've got a complete complete handbook that I'm going through from basic form development all the way through to multi-dimensional arrays and you'll see. It's going to be interesting. Um, you can either use one of uh, Borland or Embarcadero's pack packages or if you haven't got the money for those or if you can't find one of their free versions you can always use Lazarus.3 Pascal uh, it's also a very nice compiler so yeah I'm not going to do very very advanced stuff that Delphi 7 does not support this handbook is based on Delphi 7 so you'll be able to follow along as we go along okay so sit tight relax and enjoy oh yeah and get yourself a big mug it's always always a good thing to have a big mug at least 500 mils of coffee like this and you'll be able to survive okay first we'll start off with a new project will always use VCL forms applications this is your basic form your structure all the buttons that you'll add you'll see it later your object inspection inspector at the bottom with all your properties we'll get to that uh, this is most this is your most important one of all um, we can get all your well buttons all your components that you're going to slap onto your form and you don't have to worry about this project group we'll, and we'll be handling those a little bit later for now we're going to go into the standard library I'm going to add a button to the form just drag it and slap it onto your form I'm using CN pack it's a add-on for Delphi um, that whenever I put something onto the form it prompts me for a name uh, with this button we're going to change the form to purple so we're going to call it button purple the naming convention you'll learn on as we progress but for button for all buttons we'll use the prefix of btn you can just say ok in the object inspector, inspector if you haven't got CN packed installed um, here's the name property of button purple you can also edit it there and for now we're just gonna change the caption to purple okay if you double click on button purple it opens up the prop the editor from there on we can we're gonna change the form color the yeah form two dot color we're gonna make that cl purple as easy as that and we can compile the program as you can see if we click on the button purple it changes the form to purple and we can just close that we can swap back to our form with the button F12 on your keyboard we're gonna add another button to the form we're gonna call that one button yellow just say ok and the caption once again I'm just gonna make it yellow you can double click on yellow to set its properties as you can see it's still this in the same editor as button purple just gonna use form to dot color sorry for that one form to dot color is equals to cl yellow I know I'm on my nerves boys but ah, just stick with me the nose will run over eventually. It's my first YouTube video ever, so oh, I'll get over it eventually. But I'm willing to help you guys if you want to stick with me. Okay, we can just compile that one. Click on purple, click on yellow, click on purple, click on yellow. See, it's easy as that. Just to add some extra functionality. Um, whenever we click on button purple we can say button yellow dot enabled 
is equals to false. It's a boolean type. I'll get to all the variable all the variable types. I'll get a little bit on later. You don't have to worry about that for now. Um, and whenever we click on button yellow, sorry, I just click insert there. Whenever we click on button yellow, button purple. enabled equals to oh crap guys <laughs> we actually have to enable the buttons when we click on them just hold on like that we can just true on that one but the own its own button we can say enabled is equals to false so that we disable the button that we are clicking and the other button we enable sorry about that one so button yellow dot enabled is equals to false okay we can compile that one so you can decide whichever button you want to edit first if we click on purple, it disables purple, so we can't click purple again. If we click on yellow, it disables yellow, and we can only click on purple. Um, if we jump back to our form, um, if we want to start up and you want to say, okay, yellow does not have to be enabled by default, you can just go and untick it there. You can just set it to true or false. Okay, but uh, for practical reasons, we'll leave it enabled. Okay, so that's all for now and yeah please subscribe to my channel and hope we get along good thanks eh bye